Hi everybody, Dr. Stacia here at Infinite Health Chiropractic. So um, we've had a couple patients come in um, these last couple months and I've had a lot of questions about endometriosis and fibromyalgia. Um, if you've never, or if you've ever heard of either, you probably have heard that um, people who suffer with it, you know, can't do a lot of things, really painful. Um, it definitely keeps these people from experiencing the life that they want and feel that they deserve, and it totally does. Um, and I kind of want to show you guys from my standpoint, from a neurological-based chiropractor, what we're seeing when these people walk into our office and how simple um, our care for them really is and um, really how simple the explanation is as to what, I, what is actually going on in their body because so many people with fibromyalgia and endometriosis feel like there's no answer, feels like there's nothing that they can do. Um, a lot of times they feel very helpless and that nothing out there works. Um, this is something both of the both endometriosis and fibromyalgia we've had wonderful, wonderful success with. And I kind of just want to show you guys why. So those of you who know me um, know that we do scans in the office. And those of you who don't know, um, the scans that we do look at really how the body's working, how it's functioning, what are the organs doing, how are the brain and the body communicating. Um, those are the really basic, in a really basic explanation, that's what we're doing. So I kind of want to show you a scan quick. The first one will be um, endometriosis. Um, I just want to do two different scans to show you guys. So let me turn the camera. Oh gosh, can I figure this out? Um, okay, it's not going to let me turn the camera around, so I'm going to have to flip this around. Okay. Okay, so the scan right, uh, let me figure it out, right here is showing you guys um, that brain-body communication. So if you look at this scan right here, you see all this yellow. And if you look right over here, this number, it's supposed to be as close to 100 as possible, and it is 54. Okay, so let me kind of explain that to you quick. So on the, only a few technical difficulties. So on the one where we're looking at that brain-body communication and we saw that yellow. So that yellow basically means that area of the body is not communicating with the brain. And when you look at what nerves talk to what organs, right in that area is where the nerves to the uterus and ovaries come from. So endometriosis is basically that lining that should be on the inside of that uterus to nourish it in case we have um, a, um, a fertilized sperm attached to that uterus to grow a baby. Um, that uterine lining should be in the inside of the uterus. And instead, it's kind of going wherever it wants. It might go on the ovaries, into the appendix. It might just be you know, all over the intestines. It kind of goes wherever it wants. So on the scans, it's showing us we have a body that is not communicating properly to the brain in that area of the body. And that's exactly what's going on. We have organs that aren't doing what they're supposed to and the brain has no clue because it's not talking to that part of the body. And when we jump over to that number, that one that was 50, 54. So when I said it was supposed to be 100, that basically means only 54% of the messages from the body are reaching the brain and can, can clearly communicate to the brain what's going on. So we have a huge communication error between the brain and the body. These, these um, scans where we see those communication errors are the easiest for us to fix because we're neurological based chiropractors. Really the biggest thing we're focusing on is changing that brain body communication to restore it to what it's supposed to be. So let me pull up the next one on fibromyalgia. Sorry, I can't get this to work the way that I wanted to. Okay, so here is our fibromyalgia scan. So again, we're looking at that brain-body communication because fibromyalgia is again a wiring issue. And you can see again, a scan that is all yellow. So again, yellow means no communication. So we have a whole body that is not communicating with the brain. And when we come over here and look at the numbers, 
so before when we looked at um, the uh, endometriosis, we looked at this top one. Now we're going to look down here at this bottom one. This is really low. It's 24. This one is supposed to be 100 as well. Sorry if I'm making some of you guys see sick. Um, so with that, okay, have you heard of phantom limb syndrome? This is where somebody has, let's say, an arm amputated and they go to their doctor and they say, you know, I know my arm is gone, but it hurts or it itches. Like, I know it's not here, but it hurts so bad. Well, the brain is used to getting signals from that part of the body. And when it no longer receives those signals, the brain freaks out and thinks, oh dear, something must be wrong. I must be in pain. And that's exactly what's going on when we see a scan like this. We see all that yellow, no communication from the body, just like we're moving a limb and no longer getting that communication to the brain. And the brain freaks out and thinks, oh no, something's wrong, pain. There you go, there's fibromyalgia. So hopefully that explanation kind of makes sense as to what's going on when people have those diagnoses. I'm sure almost everybody watching this has either met somebody or know somebody or you yourself have had endometriosis or fibromyalgia. So hopefully that explanation kind of makes sense and makes sense to you as to why um, someone like me focusing on that neurology can be so beneficial by helping to rewire, um, help those areas of the body communicate with the brain again. That way we can get the body functioning the way it's supposed to. Um, a quick tidbit is um, the last scan I showed you, the fibromyalgia case, the last time we did a rescan, um, the body was fully communicating with the brain and symptom wise, the patient is doing the best she has ever done. Um, you know, we all have a road to recovery. My scans are very good and, you know, I'm still not in perfect health. I'm still striving for it. And with the um, endometriosis patient, um, she has went back in and had a scope done to see if she needed any more surgeries and they could not find anything. So it's amazing to see that when you restore that proper communication between in the brain and the body, how the body actually works the way that it's supposed to. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to email, call. Um, we'd love to help you and your family in any way we can. I hope this was informative and we will chat soon. Bye.